This ring is great for stealth and gives you plus 2 sleight of hand. This weapon has a unique feature called Faith Warden's Vines which usually entangles enemies. This special ring increases your armor class and saving throws. Your allies regain hit points by using this uncommon helmet. And you know what? One thing is very much common among all these special items, that is, they are very easily missable in early game. So without any further talking, let's find all this today. I must tell the others what happened. I stepped careful. There are traps in these tunnels. For the smuggler's ring, you'll have to come to this location first. Remember, this is the location where you first met Karlat. Well, if you are an absolute beginner, then this is how you come here. Don't worry, I'll be showing you the map location for each item. Of course. Jump down. You will need to go straight from here. You see, the skeleton is well hidden in the bushes and easily missable. And here is the ring. Now, for the ring of protection, you'll need to come to this location. To get inside through the hole, you'll need to change your shape. I'm using Shadow Heart for this. Once inside, you'll land a Tifling hideout. You'll have to talk to Mole here. to visit. Now choose the option to offer help and Mole will ask you to steal an idol. I want to steal that big shiny idol they're all chanting at. Let's find the idol. Here, a lot of people do not want to steal the idol to avoid fighting, but here is a trick. First, save the game here. Now cast Fog Cloud. Without any delay, steal the idol and fast travel to camp. Then go back to Mole and give the idol. Now she will reward you with a ring. For the cap of curing, we'll need to go to the location where we met Alfira for the first time. Many of us missed the chest while interacting with Alfira. Lockpick the chest to get the helmet. We will find another chest near to this location. Just follow my path. Is someone singing? Oh, that's beautiful. Now, I'll show you a thing that a lot of us miss. From the prison, if you follow this path, you'll reach underground passage. Let me air your 
A fight with the goblins commences if you go forward. Did some bleeding hearts show up to save the druid? I'll cut you to pieces. Kill them! While fighting, we miss to heal Findel. Well, if you help him, you are not rewarded for this. But to be a good character, I like to save a life. And after the fight, you can talk to him and he will show gratitude towards you for saving his life. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. It's my fault. I thought I'd given them the slip, but they followed me through the tunnel back there. I must tell the others what happened. I stepped careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. Oh, my savior. I wish you could have visited in better times. And the last weapon is called Pale Oak. You'll get it once you complete the hidden quest, Investigate Kagha. You burned like fire. For starting the quest, you'll need to come to the servant's quarter and lockpick Kaga's chest. If you read the letter, the quest will start. I have a full guide on the quest where I have explained everything with details. If you follow that video and complete the quest, you'll get Pale Oak, Hell Rider's Pride and the happiest ending for the Grove. So I would recommend you to watch it from here. And if you have discovered any secrets in this area, please let us know through the comment section. So guys, that was all for today. If you have liked this video, please consider subscribing. Have a nice day. Goodbye.